This video contains important tips all the way to the end. Okay, subtitles. Once your edit is complete, you may want to add some. The fastest way to do this is to go up to your timeline menu, go down to AI tools and select create subtitles from audio. But there's a lot more to it than that. Now this box will appear. So first you need to set your language, then under caption preset, choose between default, teletext or Netflix. For most, the default is perfect, but it really depends on what you're doing. Next, we need to define the number of letters per line. What I find works best for YouTube shorts is eight characters on a single line with a zero frame gap. This way, Resolve will auto cut between the titles of between one and two words rapidly. Right, let's quickly create it and see the result. You can see how fast Resolve generated the subtitles on a separate subtitle track. Gotta love AI. For a YouTube short, this is great, but it will need further finessing. For drama, a slower paced, less frenetic approach is better as the titles will live longer on the screen. So between 40 to 50 characters is a happy medium over two lines, depending on the font size and language. To change a font size, left mouse click on the subtitle track. The inspector window will have now opened over here. Now in the inspector window, we can see all of our generated subtitles, but let's just ignore them for a second and click on the track tab. Here, just like any other title, we can change all of our parameters. This is all self-explanatory. What's important to understand here is that these are track level changes. So every subtitle will be affected identically. If you wish to change the timing or the style of any specific subtitles, that's also easy because each individual title's editable like any other title in Resolve. Just select the one that you want to amend, click the captions tab, and then make the changes to the individual clip. You can also change your length, timing, and position, not a problem. This is also where you can correct the subtitle if Resolve's AI got it wrong. So with the clip selected, click on the caption tab and then change the text, size, color, position, and length, you get it. Now, if you're not happy with what's been generated overall, it's faster to delete the track and change the parameters than trying to make manual adjustments. To delete it, right click on the subtitle track and then select delete track, then regenerate them with different parameters. This will just take a little bit of mucking around with. The last but the most important tip is on the render page. In the render settings, open your subtitle drop-down menu, tick this checkbox, and then choose whether the subtitles are for a separate file or captions, which are both really for broadcast things, or whether you want them to be burnt into the video, which is more of a social media thing. If you're doing online content and you want them to be seen, burn them into the video. When you choose this, all of the other options will disappear. Add to the render queue and from here, you got this.